She cheated. Reconcile possible? Our story long. We had probably the worst winter of our lives. We've been trying to have children for two years but are having major problems. This winter was a failed uterus surgery for her, IVF round which is extremely hard to take, almost complete failure to produce viable embryos, our dog essentially our child nearly died, and I was working two jobs, nearly every day, rarely seeing sunlight or having days off. I thought this spring we would reconnect and heal. COVID was ending and we could enjoy our house finally. About a month ago I really started to notice a problem. We had had a hard winter and were already distant but now it was worse. Our relationship was always based on communication and I was always the one to get her through hardships. Now, though, she wasn't talking to me. Our already bad s time life got worse and she started flat out refusing me. Her excuses made no sense and I knew something big had changed. D-Day. Last Saturday I finally just sat her down and demanded to know what was going on. She said she was questioning everything. I continued to pull more from her. She then said she wasn't in love with me anymore. She still loved me as a person but wasn't in love. I immediately knew. I've seen it time and time again. That's what you feel when someone else is involved. She confirmed. She has feelings for a man at work she's never had for anyone else. She confirmed he had kissed her a couple months back. Cue devastation. I lost it in an upset way. I started to collapse. I asked her to go stay with her dad and she refused. I asked for couples counseling and she refused saying there's no point. I eventually went for a drive and called my parents for a huge breakdown. I didn't sleep that night at all. D-Day plus one, I spent the next day at her dad's. We're friends and he was extremely upset. We talked for 6 hours. Eventually landed on talking to her again to see if there was a chance. I was and am still convinced she had a major mental breakdown in the winter and the guy at work was there at the right time. I went home to her and asked her if she had anything to say or if anything had changed. She said no. I asked her if we were done. She said maybe. I asked if she wanted a divorce. She said yes I want a divorce. I got more from her. They were sneaking around the office having make-out sessions every time they saw each other couple times a week. They had constant communication for months. When she was beside me in bed, on the couch, driving somewhere, or at the store, she was talking to him. Then the bomb, one morning three weeks ago she left early after kissing me goodbye and met him. They had s time in the backseat of her car. She said she feels for him something she's never felt for anyone ever before. He is married and has a three-year-old. Currently still not working on a separation. Since then, she finally agreed to stay with family. Last Sunday night was the last time she stayed at the house on the couch. This week has been brutal beyond words. I found a lawyer and contacted the real estate agent. If this was how it was going to be, I needed out ASAP. I had my first two panic attacks of my life. Yesterday I was in the city looking for apartments. I hated everything about them. I was extremely upset and had another breakdown in my car. I started texting her saying I know she loved me, I know she was happy. Why did she run when it got hard instead of trying to fix? The message back changed everything, I do love you. I was happy. I don't know why I ran. I'm so lost. Reconciliation possible? So I had her come over to the house to talk. She was upset and remorseful finally. We talked a lot. We had s time I know. I essentially laid out how we could move forward. She has to be 200% in trying to fix this. She has to fix this. I won't. She needs to be desperate for me to take her back and doing everything she possibly can. We both go to separate therapy. She gets proper care and possibly medication for her anxiety. She obviously can never see him or speak to him again. She has to quit her job and find a new one. We go to couples therapy at some point. She fully accepts that I could decide at any moment that I can't handle it and I'd leave. She'd have lost me and him. Either we sell the house anyways and work on this while living separately, or we spend the next two months trading off time at the house while working on things and reassess after that. The huge questions not really looking for answers to these necessarily. 
just putting them out there. Will I ever trust her again? Will I ever get the images of him inside her out of my head? He may give up on her and she'll run back to me not having even made a decision herself. If she is effort into one decision, does it mean anything at all? Is it even worth it? She has huge difficulties with affection and intimacy. Things I need in abundance. Can I continue to live without them if she can't get that fixed? If we split, I will eventually heal and move on. I may be changed forever, but I have a lot to offer someone else. It's almost impossible to see, but one day I'd be able to move on. Should I just do that? Let my marriage go and find something better? Us, we've been together for five years other than a seven month breakup after our first year, my doing as she was still reeling from her previous breakup and was not ready to be with me truly. We got back together, dated, got engaged, and married. We've been married two years. I'm successful, good looking, fit, and stable. We bought a house last fall, thanks to me working two jobs. I have had trust issues in the past after my ex cheated on me twice. A big reason I married my wife is that I considered her the most trustworthy person I'd ever met. She has a rather severe untreated anxiety disorder. It led to our first breakup and has made things hard many times. Thanks for reading. I'll be around to answer questions and talk. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1, short answer is no. Reconciliation is incredibly difficult and only about 15% of couples make it. Did you leave that conversation with her making a commitment to cutting him off and trying for marriage? Doesn't sour like it's so no, Therese no chance. You can't be continually traumatized by someone you love and recover fully. The absolute best thing you can do at this point is cut her off and push towards the business of divorce. Implement the 180 and start gray rocking her. Her indecision is a decision in and of itself. You will never trust her again. You can never under what she did if you stay. As you said, when he rejects her, she'll be back. Don't be someone's second choice. It's not worth it. The marriage was already hard as you mentioned and now she's nuked it. It won't get better. Only worse. Move on and find what you need and deserve in life. Redditor 2, she has huge difficulties with affection and intimacy. Things I need in abundance. Can I continue to live without them if she can't get that fixed? I didn't see any intimacy difficulties with your wife in regards to her boyfriend. They seem to be reserved for you. I don't think I could get past this fact. Redditor 3, what I'm seeing here is she's trying to reconcile after wandering around and doing what she wanted. She hasn't admitted she's done anything wrong yet. She's no longer in love with you, but now she's back in love with you after not being around you for a few weeks? My BS detector is bouncing off of 10. She sees how uncomfortable her divorce life will be and she's crawling back to make it better. Looks like the AP has already gone hey it was just a little fun while I couldn't sleep with my wife. The other thing I can't get over is she's messing around while you're trying to get pregnant? That just seems shady on so many levels. Don't be the second choice. Be sure you act in your best interests. Do not let her say there is an us or a we. She's the one who broke that bond, not you. If she wants it back she is going to have to fight tooth and nail and for it. You also have red flags as far as the intimacy issues, she's obviously not going to change that. Some people just have low libido. If you need more, then this is your get out of jail free card. Living a first life of celibacy is no way to go. Find someone who enjoys your company and your companionship on the same level you do theirs, otherwise you're just wasting your time. Good luck on your choice, but I would be moving on.